student and you are planning on taking the leap to go abroad and you have not decided on the destination. What do you do at this point of time? What factors do you consider while you choose your destination? Is it the university ranking? Is it the uh, tuition fees? Is it the number of duration that you would, you would be spending in the university? Is the university offering you any mental support? Research opportunities? Is the, are they pro pro properly grooming you up for industry? If you have not decided yet or still ruminating which destination to consider, I am here to help your decision making process a bit easier. My name is Sharjah Ibrahim and I'm the destination manager for the rest of the world here at Educo Pathways Bangladesh. And I am today explicitly talking about why you sh should or might consider UK as your top study destination. So for UK, UK has been uh, one of the pioneer destinations in the field of education. They have over a thousand years of experience in the field of education. Some of the oldest universities have started from UK. So if you consider that, that means their education, um, as their education system as a whole is very strongly built. And what do, they, do you think they take pride about? If you, for example, consider um, if while we, for some students, uh, for us, while we were a student, we used to read, okay, this uh, professor has uh, done this remarkable research um, in this field, in the field of physics or chemistry or biology and computer science. But in UK, if you go to any universities, you'll find one or two very popular professors who have had done a very remarkable job in the field. You'll be seeing them live. Or if you, you might even feel ruffled that you are sitting in the same field that one of the Nobel laureate professor has once said. So in terms of quality of education, UK has always been very adamant about that and they via their quality assurance committee, they've always maintained that they are not just for the local students and for the international students, they provide a very strong benchmark. Now, if you think about a bit, um, how many years of duration, how many years of studies does a student need to study while they're in UK? In here, while we are here in Bangladesh, it's four years of bachelor's. But in UK, it's three years of bachelor's. We are tenly more likely to do a two years of master's here. But in UK, it's a one year of master's. So if you compare in terms of tuition, in terms of your leaving opportunities, instead of a four years of a bachelor's degree here, you are doing a three years of bachelor's degree. You are on already one year ahead of your game. You are saving your living expense. You're saving your tuition as well. Also, what does this university's three years bachelor's or one year uh, master's additionally provide you? During the three years bachelor's degree, they have an option, optional, op op like they have an option for doing a sandwich year. So what does this mean, uh, doing a sandwich year, or sandwich year while you are in the undergraduate degree? Sandwich year gives you the opportunity to take an industry placement in the field of studies that you are working. Now, if you think about the recent times, the global area, when everybody thinks about that, you should be having some sort of work experience. Why is that required? Because I don't, uh, companies look for employees who have had some work experiences, not even just for their, in, like not for as a world itself, but also as for their um, area of, uh, they would be focusing in. So if you have this one year of uh, work experience, this would also help. How would this help you is once you complete your bachelor's, you would know where you see yourself. What does your industry look like? What is your initial entry level salary? Where would you be going after you complete uh, the entry level position? Which other companies that you can hop to? So this kind of opportunities, I think, should be availed by a lot of students because sometimes we are too much into studies but not that much into do not try to explore much of the working environment or in industry that we will be working for same thing happens while you go for a master's you do a one year master's degree and you have another one year placement option this placement option and 
given a master's student, you are graduate, you are a graduate student, you are more matured, you know what you want to do in your life. So this would give you an opportunity where you should be looking for, for your job. Even if you don't know, for example, where you see yourself, maybe this placement here would help you to decide, okay, I studied, uh, maybe I studied marketing and this is the company that I see myself working with. Maybe I'm not the person to work in this industry. I'll look for something else. That would also can be a stepping stone for you to change your direction, your perspective, and you might even find yourself being more um, focused towards your life. Now, if we come about what, what would you do once you complete your graduate undergraduation and postgraduation studies in UK? Once you complete, the government now has given you two years of post-study work opportunity. What does this mean? In these two years, you are free to do any kind of jobs, but you are encouraged to look for jobs in the area that you have find more interest in. So these two years also can act as a stepping stone for your career, where after these two years, you know where you would be heading towards. And one of the interesting things that i uh, find about uk is you name a subject for example somebody uh, once told me that i want to study a course in embroidery i was like okay no it's not possible but come on this is uk and they have the most unique and you weirdest co courses possible in this world and that they are there to offer and it's not just they are just offering it for the sake of offering it they it's a full-fledged master's curriculum that they offered for masters in embroidery there are a lot of courses like that in uk you just name it you need to find your passion where you like like to see yourself where you like what you would like to study look for your interest look for your industry placements look for your uh, if you're a working professional see where you see um, where you would like to work in the next five years decide on the course and and if you research about the universities in uk I am. I can guarantee you that you are hundred percent. You can be hundred percent sure you will find something or something or um, some. Not just something. A course that would mainly interest you and of course may trigger you in the direction that you never thought of. Signing off for today. Take care.